I'm off on a tangent again. I would be a little bit scared to have this formula in a really deep formula. Deep formula, what? welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I would say overall this was kind of like a neutral makeup week but then all about the lips. Like I have a lot of lip stuff to talk about this week. Some of it's very neutral but a little bit of it is colorful but my eyes are pretty neutral. My cheeks I did pretty much the same thing almost every single day. Still have my leftover zit situation. Don't know what that's about, but we still had that going on this week. But we have some fun favorites to talk about, so let's get to it. On my eyes this week, I was really feeling like some cool tones. So I pulled out a palette that I haven't worn for a while. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Redemption Eyeshadow Palette Iconic 2. So it's a very kind of like cool tone, neutral palette, and I really like it. Like I think it's really nice quality, very affordable. I wish it had more mattes. It really just has like one matte over here that's really too dark for my skin tone, one here, that one's pretty good, and then a matte black, and then pretty much everything else is shimmer. But it's some pretty shimmer. Like I really like the shimmer in it. This is the one that I have on my eyelids today. Can you even see? Or are my fingers blocking each other? This one right here, <laughs> that's what's on my lids today, and it's just pretty. This one's pretty, this kind of like grayish color. That one's really pretty. They're all just nice. I mean, they are kind of, I mean, they're a little bit powdery, but not that bad, especially for the price. I think they're really nice. They wear well. I always wear a primer, so that helps, but they're just pigmented, pretty, taupey, cool tone shadows, and I really like them. Like today I have, you know, you can go more smoky with this palette, but today I have a little bit lighter makeup because I was just feeling like lighter makeup and you know, it works with a nude lip, but I was also wearing like colorful and deeper lip colors this week. So this kind of like paired well with it and balanced it out. On my cheeks this week, I wore this blush pretty much every single day. This is the birthday one, the birthday point perk from Sephora. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush and this is in party, party, like three A's. And it's just a beautiful, neutral, kind of like peachy nude sort of a blush. It's beautiful. I love it. I love that they chose this color for the birthday gift because it's just like a great everyday go with absolutely everything kind of blush color. I just love it. It blends really well into the skin. It wears so well. It really doesn't budge. I love these blushes. I really need to show these blushes more love from my collection because they blend well, they wear well, lots of fun colors. I love them. I wish they made like every single one in the little baby cute version because they store well in your collection. They're nice for traveling and this is still going to take a really long time to go through. So yeah, I love this blush. That's all I was wearing this week. Another cute little baby product that I was loving this week is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter, and this is in Exposed. So it just says Exposed Highlight. I got this and one of their bronzers in a little duo. I think it was around, shoot, like $18 or something. It was a good price. I think it was around 18, 20, something around there, I think. But it was a pretty good price and both cute little tiny versions. The bronzer was the darker one, so it wasn't Park Avenue Princess. I can't remember the name of it now, but I do like that bronzer. Like I've been wearing that and really enjoying it, but I was really curious to try this. This is so pretty. It's a very golden highlight, but it has that like bright champagne flashing to it. So it's golden, but Ooh, it just, it still works. Like it almost looks like it would be too dark for me, but it still works and I love it. So I was using that this week and this paired with the bronzer is really pretty. You really don't even need a blush if you don't want to wear a blush. You can just apply that bronzer and kind of like blend it up onto your cheeks a little bit and then apply some of this and it just gives this beautiful sun-kissed look to your cheeks. It's amazing. I really do like this. Um, it's a little bit on the chunkier side. Well, not chunky, but like, 
a thicker sort of a feel to it, but I don't really find it hard to blend. I just would say maybe less is more and you may just kind of want to like build up the color versus getting a lot on your brush. You really don't need a lot. Um, but I still do like the formula and it's just a beautiful shade. Burberry was so sweet and contacted me recently, which I was so excited about. And they sent me some of these. These are their liquid lip velvets. And I've been loving this one this week. This is in number five, Fawn. These are more of kind of like a moussey sort of a texture, really pretty packaging to them, just kind of like a very sort of square shape to them. And Fawn is like a kind of um, deep brownie mauve sort of a color. Really pretty, kind of has that like 90s lip vibe to it. So it's really a pretty like it's still kind of a statement lip, but it's a little bit edgy, a little bit 90s. I do like the formula of these, but you have to like a more moussey sort of a lip product. This isn't like that, you know, set down to a matte liquid lipstick sort of a product. This is more of that like moussey, fluffier feeling product on the lip. So it really never like sets down, but it's way more comfortable because of that. But it does move a little bit. So you kind of have to watch your teeth a little bit. Make sure it doesn't get on your teeth. Do I have stuff on my teeth right now? No, I think we're okay. <laughs> but I'm wearing a lighter color, but you gotta keep track of the lips, you know, and make sure you don't have it, uh, or the lips. Yeah, the lips and the teeth. Make sure that the lips aren't getting on the teeth, you know, that you don't have your, I'm off on a tangent again. But what I'm trying to say is this more, this is more of a velvety, moussey formula. And when you wear a deeper color in a formula like that, you may have to watch your teeth a little bit. That was way, way, way long of a tangent to say one little thing. <laughs> but I've been loving this this week. I think it's really pretty and a nice, comfortable formula. I also received some Lancome lippies through Octoly this week that I've been trying out. So they sent me four different colors of these and two are standout favorites for me. One I like and one is overall kind of a fooey for me. These are the Les Absolu Rouge Hydrating Shaping Lip Colors. So let me go through the first one that is my absolute favorite of all of them. This is number 397, Berry Noir. Oh, this is really pretty. It's like a deep wine sort of a shade. So this one is my favorite. That was the standout for me this week. Really creamy, very comfortable. Does have kind of the Lancome L'Oreal sort of a perfumey scent to it. So it does have that scent, um, but really comfortable. I don't really notice the scent once I get it on my lips, but when I'm applying it, I can smell it. So I would love if the scent weren't there. I'd like it even more, but I like the formula a lot. This one sets down, this is a matte. So it starts out kind of creamy and then sets down a little bit, really pretty packaging. You press down on the lid and it pops out the bottom. It's so fancy feeling, I love that. So I love that color. Other favorite for me is 378 Rose Lancome. And this one is a beautiful kind of like a bright pinky color. I think this one, yeah, this one's a matte too. Y'all know I love me some matte lips. I just find that they're like the ideal formula. They're just not high maintenance. They're easy, they set down, they wear well, but they're comfortable. I feel like they're less high maintenance than a liquid lipstick, like a traditional liquid lipstick, so. I like matte lips. This one I think is really pretty, but I haven't worn it yet. This one is Caprice, 132 Caprice, and this one is a cream. Yeah, this one's a cream. So this is like a bright red, really pretty. I'm gonna have to wash my teeth with that one. Be careful, but look how pretty it is. It's bright and fun. So I really like that one, bright red. And then the one that really kind of disappointed me a little bit is this one. This is number 202. Newt and Joir, and this is a sheer. When I first put this on, I loved it. Like, I thought it was just such a pretty, everyday, neutrally nude sort of a lip color. It's right there. So I thought really, really pretty, but it disappeared really quickly. Like, I don't even know how fast, but I looked at my lips and really didn't see much left. I mean, it's a very light color, so that's part of it, but it just didn't stick around very long. But if you just want that kind of like no makeup makeup look, you may like this one. Um, I could totally see it for that. But I just wasn't really a fan of how it wore. It kind of like 
wore off quickly and a little bit, not really patchy, but just didn't look very good on my lips when it was wearing away. So these are definitely the ones that I would recommend. Really like these, but especially the matte ones. That one is such a pretty statement lip. And this one is such a fun, happy pink. So those are the two that I would go with first. Those are my two favorites. Really like this one, but I'd probably skip on this one. At least me personally. And then what I'm wearing on my lips right now, stand out lip favorite for the week. I love this. This is the Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte Cream Lip Stain. And this is in Adored. Love the packaging. Easy to tell what color it is. The packaging matches the product inside. But I just really, really like this product. Again, this is a moussey sort of a texture, so similar to the Burberry one. Um, but I really like the color of this one. I would be a little bit scared to have this formula in a really deep formula. Deep formula, what? Deep color. <laughs> because I'd be afraid of it going everywhere. So I would go with more of a neutral color in these, just if you don't have to worry about them moving everywhere they don't seem to set quite as much. But in a neutral color like this, oh my gosh, comfortable, pretty, um, lasts pretty well for how creamy and comfortable it is, smells good. It kind of has like almost like a strawberries and cream sort of a scent. I really like the scent on it. And it's just like a beautiful, throw it in your purse, comfortable sort of a lip product. The only thing I do notice is if I apply too much of it, like even right now, I can find, kind of feel it on the middle part of my lips and I noticed it did get on my teeth like when I was wearing it one day. And I think it's because I applied too much and it's like, I don't know, the moosiness sort of like collects a little bit, which sounds kind of gross, but that's kind of what happens. So I would say don't apply too much um, and I would just go with a more neutral color because it really doesn't fully set, but that keeps it really comfortable. And I just love the scent. I love the strawberries and cream scent. I love the neutral everyday color and I like the packaging and I got it on sale for $7. I think they're normally like 14. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.